Okay, I'm cranking it down. I've got a lot of pressure on it. Let's keep going with it. Well, I'm a big dummy because it that last shot it was off. You got to be careful. I just learned something. Basic physics. Uh, when I had this screwed in, it was stopping. It was already out. So when you see it raise up, stop, take it loose. <laughs> so it was already off that last one. Cause check it out. And there we are, folks. Booyah! Time to take a break. Everybody's talked about these gearboxes. I've never done this before in my life, but I was determined to get her done. So now I can get to the bad seal here that I bought a brand new one and change this mess out. And uh, you know, there's a little bit of slop in there, but I think I think I'm gonna be all right. I'll check it out from the you know put oil in things 20 years old man i'm not yeah i don't know what do y'all think has it got too much slop in it i know the up and down is normal left to right is not too bad there's a little bit in there but i'll read do some more reading on it but i got a feeling i'm gonna put a seal in it Slap it back together now that I know how to get all this mess loose. I don't know, that's pretty snugged up though. This is when it gets, I don't know. I'm just happy to get that damn pull off. <laughs> but that's the secret, go to, don't beat your head against the wall, just go buy some jaw pull, uh, pulley pullers. <laughs> get her off. One other thing I'd like to point out is I saved the screwdriver to get my leverage to, you know, cause the pulley was spinning. So I stuck this in there so I could crank down at the top. And then another problem I had that I thought I'd recorded, but I apparently didn't hit the start button is this was on the bottom of this, uh, you know, this was to go down in the bolt, you know, what you push against. And that was spinning. So people, well, somebody reviewed and said that these things strip out or somebody who had a real negative review about these or some of these pullers. But if that's spinning, you're not going to be able to do anything. So I just took that off. And now you've got, that really gave it, that's not going to, you know, that's going to work fine. So if it feels like it's not cranking down, that guy right there was just spinning around in there. So you're not able to do any tightening because it's not getting a hold of anything. So I just wanted to kind of point that out. Well, do you ever start a project and realize you're in a, you're spiraling down the drain hole? That's kind of where I knew this was headed when I started, but by gosh, I got looking at that play in that shaft, the slop in there, and I'm thinking that might've been where the leak's coming out. And so, here we are. So I'm gonna. I'm at a point where I'm gonna have to order some more stuff. I think my gears are in good shape. You know, everything looks pretty good, but I'm gonna do the rebuild kit with the bearings, even though these are part of the bearings that were in it. And they're actually in good shape. And then there's my other bearings. I, I did want to check these guys out. And actually, they're pretty good. So I might. I'm gonna look at it. But anyway, here we are. There's the gear. I watched another video and was able to get it all loose pretty good. Uh, I do want to reassure some folks. I'm gonna, basically, I'm going to find a stopping place and clean this shop up because I had about five projects going. The two rings are the same for both. The rest of these plugs are self-explanatory, so you won't lose them, obviously. But I went to take this. This is the seals underneath it that I thought was leaking. I went to take it out and I, I just drove it further down in there and I couldn't get it out. So I ended up taking it apart to take it out from the inside. You know, I popped, drove it down straight down. So we're apart, no turning back now, man. I got so much stuff going on in here now, I don't know what. So I'm gonna clean my shop up, get organized and order some stuff and then I'll continue this thing. This has turned into a quest. <laughs> so.
Okay, I'm gonna use a red and tack grease from Lucas. A lot of guys can use their own grease. That's what I'm using. I had an old timer show me how to do this. Again, I'm not a professional mechanic, but I've got some basic sense, common sense. But you put the grease in your hand is what he showed me. And it, I've done this several times over the years. And as you work it through, you can see the grease coming through the bearings. See how it's squirting through there? And, it, and that pushes out the old grease. See how it comes through there? And you just keep doing that till you work your way all the way around your bearings to get fresh grease packed through there. So, okay, here's how they look. I clean the excess off and just, you know, clean them up a little bit. And there's your pack bearings. Just wanted to show that repacked. Okay, following the other gentleman's video, the seal is back in, flush. That's the bottom shaft seal. You can tell the bottom, obviously, the way it comes out. Then there was a, a ring. If you look, that came out right there. That ring has to go back in and just seats right in there centered. And then I'm gonna drop the gear housing with the shaft side right back through it here. Okay, once you get that bearing in there on that side, you put this in with this towards, and if you look at it, you can see it. I'm tentatively just kind of setting that in there just to kind of show you. And if you watch it, when you get it lined up, see how it turns that gear? So that kind of give you a feel that you're doing it right so just kind of get that started again i got the idea from the other gentleman so he's helped me with this i'm just bringing up a couple extra points that might help folks out again that's kind of that but i'm an old edm machinist and that these are edm gills electrical discharge machining i bet did this uh we used to cut stuff like that that's cool stuff with edm you can do that kind of stuff it's very similar to your channel lock pliers. Check. I'm veering off topic here, <laughs> but I enjoy, see the relationship on the gills? Very similar, that's all done with EDM. Maybe not now, but it was in the 90s and early 2000s. Probably still being used. Anyway, that's how that gear goes back in. And don't hit it too hard. And then for the final edge, I just took my ball peen and just went around and tapped the top of it with my mallet. So I just went around the edge. Again, I don't have a lot of tools, but I think that's still a safe way of doing it. That helps you get it right there flush with the, uh, with the edge. You can see I'm in there pretty good. So. so I'm sure some folks will have a problem with this, but I drive a Duramax and this is what I put in my differentials. 7590 and the book says SAE 90 and also says GL5 and this is a GL5 other GL5 base specifications so if it's good enough for Madura Max gears it's good enough for Kubota and plus this is anybody that's into all this stuff Amosol Severe Gear is one of the top rated ones out there so that's what's going in there on the top just so I could watch it Cause uh, this sucker was leaking from the bottom, man, bad. I mean, it was just running out. That's what my concern was, is is it still gonna leak? And I'm, um, let me open that up a notch. Doing this with one hand. I don't see anything running out because before when you put it in there she was coming out fairly quickly i mean i was filling it up every time i i mowed this last couple of times i had to do something here 
So I'm just gonna watch that. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up and before I put it back on the tractor, just kind of watch it. All right, I've got my fluid in there. I put it up to the, where the hole is in there. You see a good clean bath of oil. You see everything working down in there. I find this fascinating that these boys figured all this mess out years ago. I'm just gonna turn and look at that beautiful oil flowing. That's Amosol synthetic. <laughs> Clean bath of oil, man. Hopefully when I get it back on the tractor, the darn thing don't self-destruct. I don't see any leaks here. And I'm, I don't, that's the only spot that I see that's weak is how they designed this to not leak. That's still kind of, is perplexing to me. I mean, I get it, but it's just, that's the weak link is that seal. I don't see anything coming through though. I think maybe the bearing with that grease in it and all helps seal it too with the washers. And then just what little bit runs down. I'll clean her up good. Get all this mess cleaned up nice. Clean my pulley up like a new one. Clean all that up and back on the tractor she goes, man. But I did it. I put back together a darn gearbox that I didn't think in a million years I could do. But man, when you're looking at $1,200 at least to rebuy a new one, or you're looking at 700 plus to, for the dealer to get in there and do this. Now, again, I just repacked my existing bearings. So I, I'm getting out of this thing, hopefully, for just the price of two seals and a few hours of work. Uh, even even this, what I had done, would have been 500 plus. I know it. And plus, if you're genuinely interested in this stuff, it's kind of, in a sick way, kind of fun to mess with. So, you guys doing this know what I'm talking about. So, you know, there's a gear gearbox on the Kubota RCK60B22BX. There she is. I'll be making a new note on my maintenance chart. But yeah, my bearings look good. I just repacked them because I, I had serviced it regularly and changed the oil and bearings look good. I guess we'll find out pretty soon. And worst case, if I have to tear it down again, at least I kind of know what I'm doing now. Hopefully, if it blows up on me, I'll be honest and come back doing an update and say she fell apart on me. <laughs> but I think it's gonna be all right. Little thing I want to point out you got to change your belt, you take that right side bracket off. Um, and also, it has a they're 19 millimeter for the bottom and for what goes in the side. And my jack leg Kubota dealer, something was messed up, so I had this was not me. So I had to go out and buy. Every project always has a curveball. So I went and bought these down Advance Auto. And they're fitting like a champ. So you take the bracket off. Smaller ones, if you notice, the same one. It's too big. So the small ones are on the, this side, the opposite side, where this is. And then you're your bigger ones are on this side for for the uh, bolting it to the deck and the belt removing when you need to change that belt. Just thought I'd throw that one in there. Thanks a lot, Kubota man, for making them all the different sizes. One more quick thing: you can tie a string on the end of your spring, a string on the end of the spring, and the other end on a little handle. And you just pull back and slip it over and take the string off or cut it. Whole lot easier. One thing I want to point out, when I put this back on, just my luck, that little slot that the 
ring clamp sits in was barely the edge of it showing the ring wouldn't lock in i was like oh my goodness did i not drive the shaft all the way through i mean it was just a millimeter i mean it just it wouldn't go in i don't know if you need to but i took i just took the bolts loose on the gearbox came back and reinstalled the blade put the washers everything on there and when i did this barely fit on there and when i cranked down the bolt you know put the bolt in and basically just tighten everything back up just like you're reinstalling it it uh and then when i got it pulled tight i mean tight as i could go i went back tightened my gearbox bolts back down took it all off and sure enough it pulled it through just enough and it, it, it just popped itself back in by itself it was already there it is it's on so that was a huge relief man so just wanted to let folks know if your shaft isn't quite all the way through but it's real close there you can just put the blade on them crank it down so we're fixing to find out how everything goes here in just a minute i'm gonna put it back together and test her in. last thing on your washers these are old these are 20 years old the original washers but there's a cup they cup towards the up so when you're installing these watt you can still see a slight cup in there the cup goes up and i think the reason for that is when you tighten it down it puts tension back out keeps it tight so make sure you keep that cup washer the way the manual says which is facing the moon the, the cup part kind of going up towards the deck so i just want to point that out that's right in the, it's part of the manual it's in the manual all right moment of truth because i've already cheated you know i have 